Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. It was a dark morning with lots of low clouds and it felt like it was going to be stormy, but then the sun came out pretty quickly during the day today as well. A beautiful afternoon. If you don't mind the chilly weather for this time of year, not so bad at a beautiful view of the Boise front. If you hadn't seen it, lots of snow out there in the foothills and snow in those higher elevations as well. Here's what's happening right now. Temperatures slipping and it is going to drop rapidly when the sun goes down with this diminishing wind. We're mostly sunny 34 wind chill at 30 degrees right now. Uh, temperatures around the region is already down to 20 in Stanley 22 in Twin Falls. It's 20 in Idaho Falls with snow blowing. Uh, blowing snow continuing to fall here. We've got slick conditions continuing. They had over a foot in Pocatello, about the seven to nine inches, depending where you are around the Twin Falls area in the 30s in the Treasure Valley right now. McCall at 23 degrees, a little chilly out there this morning at 16. It'll get even colder tomorrow morning. Still plenty of snow out there to go around, but not a lot of snow with this last storm system because it was a southern storm. And our next one coming will bring a little bit of snow to the Central Mountains, but we're not talking about significant snow for anybody, but we may get a little bit of snow in the Treasure Valley as well on Sunday evening through Monday. Right now, Doppler radar are keeping it mostly dry across southwest Idaho, dry in central Idaho. Only snow falling between Pocatello and Idaho Falls at this hour. And you take a look at some of the snow reports. It's been pretty impressive around the airport today. Had some pretty big reports here. Here's uh, see if we can get a report here. Four reports of heavy snow throughout that region. Heavy snow, uh, six inches. This is seven o'clock in the morning in Pocatello at the airport uh, in a snow depth of 11 inches. And we're talking about 11 to 12 inches of snow that had fallen in the region. I think I could even find that report. Uh, maybe it's this one right in here, kind of tucked in behind all of these other snow reports. Chubbuck, 10.7 inches of snow with moderate snow continuing to fall. That was this morning. So over a foot of snow falling in many parts of uh, southeast Idaho. That was a big storm, as I expected, when it came on. And that storm system exiting to the east. But we're still with that trail and that train uh, following the jet stream here. Cold air building down from north to south. This next storm system should dive to the south of the Treasure Valley, but it has what we call a trough line going up and down with it. So as low pressure goes by to the south, this little trough line goes through and triggers some snow showers in the mountains tomorrow afternoon. But in the Treasure Valley, I think we'll have sinking air and drying conditions with blue skies. We'll be looking off to the mountains, seeing some uh, uh, some cloud cover. And then as we head towards Sunday night, a Sunday afternoon, another system comes in from the north that will spread snow into the central mountains by later in the day. So here's tomorrow. I think sunshine for the most part, a few flurries in the mountains. This is Sunday afternoon. Look at the snow starting to move on in Baker County and McCall as well. And then the Boise area Sunday evening right here. Here we go. You're watching the Oscars and then here comes the snow coming on through during the evening hours and then that burst of snow possible overnight. We'll have to see how this sets up, but this shows snow showers possible through Monday as well. So we may get our share in the Treasure Valley coming up. Not a huge storm system, but just a little bit of snow can cause some issues in the Treasure Valley. And in fact, you take a look at everywhere it's blue, it would be snow cover. And this chart showing a chance of snow in the valley in between Boise and Mountain Home. That would be a one or two in snowfall right there. Something we'll keep an eye on while not much snow falls in the mountains in the main towns, but three to six, six to 10 inches could still fall on the ski areas. And a lot of snow has already fallen in the ski areas. I'll show you my ski report coming up in a couple of minutes. But in the meantime, our exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Teens in the morning in the Treasure Valley. It will be cold when you step outside early, but with the sun shining light wind, it's going to feel warmer all day long. 36 degrees, really a nice afternoon coming up, but still well below that 49 average temperature that we should be having. 33 in Garden Valley tomorrow, 24 in McCall. You see some snow showers popping up here. There'll be a few snow showers here and there, but frigid in the morning, minus nine in Stanley, partly cloudy, some snow showers later in the day, and the forecast for the Fairfield area, 24 degrees tomorrow, while the Magic Valley, a cold day, Sunshine, light winds. If you're headed in that direction, road conditions should be fine. Even in eastern Idaho, road conditions improve rapidly this time of year. The interstate should be good, but some of those secondary roads pretty rough. Oscar Sunday night, snow showers into Monday. Look at these low temperatures. That's why Monday morning we could have some snow on the ground, but turning milder, closer to normal by the end of the week with temperatures getting back to the upper 40s. These are not big storms coming in, but it's not the big storms that get the Treasure Valley. Sure. I, I used to say that until this year. <laughs> <laughs> big that. storms did get the Treasure Valley. That was a game changer. That was a total game changer. Yeah, but Monday. maybe an inch Monday morning, possibly? Not out of the question. I'm yeah. going to keep an eye on it as we go through tonight. Okay. Thanks, Scott. From the moment 